Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is the first video I'm filming in 2023. I'm going to start off the year with a book haul because what a good way to start the year with a good book haul. And this is probably one of my favorites I will ever film because I literally love every single paperback. Like they are stunning. The, the books I bought, they're beautiful. You guys know that pretty book covers get me horny. Okay, there's no doubt about it, that it does something for me. Okay, it just hits the spot. It just makes me feel some type of way. Anyway, they're stunning. All these books are beautiful and I just wanted to start the year off with something, you know, relaxing and nice and just kind of like, I don't know, just show off these books. It's always nice to watch a book haul. Like I thoroughly enjoy watching book hauls. They're my favorite videos to watch when I am watching booktube. Also, I got my hair done and I've gone darker and I love it so much and I literally think I'm gonna go even darker just a touch I just want to go a little bit darker I just am really into it right now uh, so yeah of course I've got to talk about my hair in my video it wouldn't be a more to Mary video if I didn't speak about my hair <laughs> I just want to say before I show you guys the books that I got I'm gonna let you know where I purchased them from because my Aussie babes a lot of these I got in store it's so wild now that Kmart and Big W and places like that like department stores and even a lot of local bookstores are starting to literally sell and have these books on the shelves mm, all these books are down under bitch and I'm here for it all right so this first book in front of me is my killer vacation by Tessa Bates I love this cover. I never used to like uh, illustrated covers. I don't know what's happened. I think now because so many authors do have illustrated covers, I've gotten used to them. And the reason why I used to stay away from illustrated covers was for the fact that you pick up a romance with an illustrated cover and it would be fade to black spicy scenes, you know what I mean? Um, which I never was really into at the time. So I just like stayed away from them. But now so many authors write these spicy books and then whack an illustrated cover on it. And you're just like, oh, discreet bitch. You're trying to be discreet. I've never read a Tessa Bailey book before. And I picked this one up because it's meant to be like a murder mystery romance. You guys know I love suspense romance. And I also like thrillers every now and then. I do like to change up what I read. But I've actually seen this floating around the internet for the past 12 months or whenever it was released. And the reviews are terrible. Like, everyone that I've seen online says they didn't like this book. And I'm like, well, it's my first Tessa Bailey book. And I hope I like it. Maybe I should have picked up another book. But the reason why I did pick this up was not only was it a murder mystery, it was written in first person point of view. I hate third person and a few of her books have been written in third person, which is why I didn't purchase them. And I purchased this one. Anyway, yes. So we got My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. This next one I'm so excited for. I bought this off Amazon, um, but I believe that this will be hitting the shelves here pretty soon. I love Kennedy Ryan. Okay, the Grip Trilogy rocked my world back in 2021. I did a whole dedicated video to it. It's still to this day, Grip and Bristol, there's no one else like them. There's no one else like them. No one has done me the way Grip and Bristol have. If you want a romance that's spicy and like romantic and it makes you swoon, but you want substance to your romance, you want a deep story that's going to get you thinking, that's going to be emotional, that covers, you know, topics that are kind of not, I wouldn't say forbidden, but a sensitive topics. Kennedy is where you want to go. So I purchased Before I Let You Go, which I've heard so many things about. And obviously this was really popular in 2022. There's a lot of books that were popular last year that you're going to see on this channel this year because I didn't read a hell of a lot last year. And my aim this year is to read all these books that I missed out on. So I hope you still like the content, even if you've already read these books. But apparently this is about a divorced couple that still love each other and they kind of find their way back to each other, I guess. They still own a restaurant together and they're running it together. And the heroine, Jasmine, I believe, she suffers from depression and there's a lot of therapy in this book. And she's kind of like going through her journey with that. That's all I know, but I know everyone that has read this has loved it. And from Kennedy herself, she said that this is definitely more of a mature read. This couple are older. I believe they're in their forties. Um, and you know what? I'm, I'm 28 this year, bitch. And I'm a mum now, so I can appreciate mature romances. Like sometimes, well, honestly, not sometimes, most of the time, I can't even read like high school and college romances anymore because I am just so not in that stage of my life. It's been and done, so I can't relate. Where I could probably relate a lot more to like 
a divorced couple having conflict and the heroine dealing with depression. I bought these two next books because I'm going to do a video very soon. I don't know if it's already uploaded or not, but I'm going to talk about all the popular books that I want to read this year that I haven't read already. And I put these two books on this list for this video because I was always intrigued about this particular couple, but I couldn't get past the other couple in this series. I'm talking about Rike and Daisy from the Callaway Sister series. So I have tried to read the Addicted series and I've DNF'd it three times because I just cannot connect to Lily and Lo. I am so sorry if you love them. I know it's a super popular series, but I, I don't know. If I'm going to read about addiction, I want grit, I want gore, I want real ass addiction, where I felt like that was just kind of fluffed over. But Rike and Daisy always intrigued me. I didn't really care about Rose and Connor. Rike and Daisy, I really want to read. So I did buy their books. I don't know if you can actually just read these and not worry about the rest of the series. Can you? Because I bought them because I want to do that. Like, can I do that? I don't know. Can you let me know if you've read the entire Addicted Callaway Sister series? Can you kind of just pick and choose what couples you want to read? Because I do not care about Lily and Lo, and I do not care really much about Rose and Connor. Look, I might end up reading them. I don't know. But I want to read Rack and Daisy because of the age gap. It's more taboo forbidden. And I just gravitated towards them when I read the Addicted series. Like instantly I was like, ooh, Rack and Daisy. I want to read them. So yes, I got them from Big W. And I like that they changed the covers because remember the old covers? Krista and Becca Richie, I need to have a conversation with you. Those covers... Horrendous bitch. Like, who designed those covers? I'm so sorry, but wow, they were not pretty. Those, stunning though. I'm really, really excited for all these books, but this one especially, because this has been on my TBR for years, I feel like. Um, and I know it's a super, super popular book, and it's Marriage for One by Ella Mays. It is a marriage of convenience. Honestly, I get DMs all the time going, you need to read A Marriage for One. And I remember when there was the mail on the cover. Now it's an illustrated cover. This is from Big W. And if you go to Big W, all of her books are there. And they all have illustrated covers. And they all have like similar spine. And when you line them all up, they just look gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this this year. I was going to buy more of her books. But I don't know if I like her writing yet. I've never read anything from her. So I'm not going to purchase like her whole entire backlist and have all her paperbacks if I don't like the books. You know what I mean? Uh, though I do sometimes buy uh, books I don't like just because of the cover. I know, I'm a collector as well. I'm not just a reader, I am book obsessed. I like to collect, I like to own, I like to half read books and not finish them and then binge series. Like, you know what I mean? Like I just like books in general, especially if they're romance. This book though, tried to read in 2022. Couldn't read it though because of the pregnancy slump I was in when it came to reading. So glad that that's gone. Uh, but Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. And this is the uh, like discreet cover. You can get the book with the man on the front. But I saw this and I was like, mm, I love it. I believe it's a sports romance. And I know it's a love triangle and it's set in college. This is usually a book I would not read. But so many people have raved about it. Reviews are amazing. And I remember like when this came out and everyone started reading it, I got a DM from a friend of mine who read it and was like, you need to read this book. Like it's giving the vibes that you love, even though you don't read these types of stories. So I bought it anyway. Even if I don't get around to reading it anytime soon, the cover is stunning and it does intrigue me because it is so popular. Meet Me Halfway by Lillian T. James. This cover, yeah, again, stunning, like honestly, beautiful, like I could just eat this up, but I'm currently reading this and no shit, I think this is one of my favorite books I've read in a long time. I honestly am at the stage in my reading journey that it is really hard to wow me now because I've read so many romances. You just get to a point when you're constantly reading contemporary romance or dark romance and you're like, okay, like every plot's kind of feeling similar, every story is sounding kind of the same, you read the same like phrases constantly when it comes to like character descriptions and stuff. So when I come across a book and I'm like, oh, this is hitting the spot, I get like the biggest dopamine hit, like straight to my ADHD brain uh, and I love it. But Make Me Halfway is about a single mum who had a teen pregnancy and she's raising her son on her own. I haven't finished it yet, but I know that in the past, She's kind of hinted that she's had 
not a very good experience with men. There's been some abuse and stuff like that. Um, and she's just grinding girl. She's working a few jobs. She's studying full time. She's getting degrees under her belt. She is raising her child and she's just copying what most young single moms cop. The stereotypical shit from people in her life and people that meet her when it comes to being a single mom at her age. She's living next door to this hunky man. He's not very nice to her. He's not very kind to her. He's just one of those men that has the assumption that she is just like a lot of other single mothers out there who just kind of like keep having kids to take the man's money and stuff like that. Um, but once he realizes, ah, oh, she's actually not like that, tension between the two of them begins to rise and you can totally start seeing like a connection between the two. That's how far I'm into the book. I'll let you know when I finish what I rate it and stuff like that. But so far, I really am loving this. I am actually listening to this on Audible as well. So there is an audio book and the audio book so far is really good. I'm very particular with audio books. Like I can't listen to every book because if the narrator is shit, you ruin the vibe, hun. We've got Midnight Kisses by Janine Benedict. Look at this cover. Can we look at it? <laughs> the beauty. It's a fat fucking book though. Like, holy shit. I'm not into fat books anymore. This one's massive. It is just like this fat book with thick pages. It's 500 and something pages as well. Um, but yes, I believe that this is a sports romance. Um, here it says something about football's coach's daughter and like the quarterback. I just needed to own it because of the cover. This one here came in the mail the other day too. Look at this. Divine. Monica Murphy's covers are gorgeous. All of them. I really like the style of them. And this Monica Murphy book is called Promises We Meant. We Meant? Girlfriend, please. Promises we're meant to keep. I couldn't get that out there. I've never read anything from Monica Murphy and I believe that this is like brother's best friend, dirty little secret, something along those lines. Again, I didn't really purchase it for the story. I just purchased it because it was pink. Um, because I've got a problem. I'm pissed the fuck off though because when I was in Big W the other day, I came across this, which is another Monica Murphy book that's been published and you can now buy in Big W and it's A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. But because this has been published by a publishing company and I bought this on Amazon, it's been indie published. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> How am I going to style these books on my shelf? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm a bit stressed because the one thing I hate is when authors' books don't match. What am I going to do with this, bitch? Can you give me a solution right now? Because it's stressing me out. Even though I don't even have the shelf space for these books yet. I am going to start the second bookshelf on this wall this year. That's my goal. Um, I'm done with this bookshelf, okay? Like, there's a few areas that need to be filled up. But I want this wall to be, like, fresh new books. Because a lot of those books, you know, they're my books from 2020 to 2022. You know, it's been two years, but it's time to start a new wall. And I want this wall to be very colourful and just like light and fluffy, where that one's like all dark and gloomy. It is ridiculous that I bought this next book because I did try to read it and I didn't have it. But I bought them all because I do like the covers because they're so unique. And I do want to give this series another go because I'm not pregnant anymore. Magnolia Parks. Okay. This got some hype last year. This got some hype. Like everyone loved it so much. And I did appreciate the writing style, but it was something that I just honestly struggled to read. I was at the end of my pregnancy, man. Like I gave birth like a week and a half later after I tried to read this. Um, but I do love, 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 love the covers because I think they're really unique. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the covers. Me personally, I love them. And even my partner, right? This was sitting on the table the other day in this room and he came in here and he picked this book up. He said to me, I don't pay attention to the books that you own. He's like, none of the covers like really speak to me. He's like, but this one does. Like this cover is really cool. Like it looks like it's going to be like a fantasy, like Harry Potter situation. And I laughed because I was like, bitch, this is so far from fucking Harry Potter. But yes, I want to give this another go. And even if I don't like them, I'm happy to own them. I'm happy to own books I don't like, especially if they're popular in the community. Um, also, Jessa Hastings, even though she lives in the States, she is an Australian author and she's indigenous. So that is super cool. Next two books were sent to me and I'm so grateful because they sound so amazing. So this is Just Like Heaven and also Sinning Like Hell by Trelina Pucci. Pucci? 
I don't know. But this is what the cover looks like for the first book. And this is the second one. Really cool covers. Um, and I do want to read the blurb on the first book because I read the blurb and I was like, this sounds like a wicked dark romance. Like, it sounds really good. He's a criminal, an abomination. We're wrong in every way. If only I could convince my heart. His lips whispered promises of all the stars in the sky. I dreamt of a love that would last forever. We were gorgeously young and desperate for one another, but we were star-crossed. Fate had decided our course, leaving us to cling to each other as we crumbled to ash. His need became obsession. My innocence turned jaded. Our families declared war. All that remained was hate. The rules didn't apply. I was his until he said otherwise, for better or for worse. Our love stories bathed in crimson and drenched in bullets because sometimes Romeo comes with tattoos, guns, and a taste for blood. Excuse me? Does this not sound awesome? Like this sounds so, so, so good. I can't wait to get into some of these books and read them. They're stunning. They're gonna look beautiful on the shelf. I can't wait. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to thumbs it up, subscribe before leaving, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.